And then also, so you have two guests that are going to sing out a weak word. So first, Stuart, do you want to go over that? It's a great privilege for me to say a few words. As I was answering this Chapson at the University of Birmingham. You be 40 years, 40 years ago, next year, I think, yes. Not that like, correct. I had a marvelous sense of humor. Yeah. A really a great infection that I'm oh, too late. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, his brother Richard is here. He's going to say a few words. Well, um, just like uh, Stuart, I was, wasn't hearing advice warning. Growing up, we all looked up to Anson. Uh, he was uh, very much our role model. I mean, it's been difficult for us because we in some had to kind of live up to the standard that we set. Well, you were a professor before, any eh? <laughs> What is it? So what's it? It's not special about the Oxford. <laughs> but you know, for us, it was always special. Eh? You know, uh, always a trailblazer, always a pioneer. Um, he was the first person I knew in Bradford to go to to go to university. But anyway, just to say, well done and come back to this. I think so. Thank you for all of you have come. It does feel a bit bizarre, really, as I've been in the first in Oxford. I mean, although I, I've told everyone, I'll say again, I was a professor before I came here. So, you know, University <laughs> of South Africa. But it's interesting that I think Richard and probably Linian, or probably Stewart and probably Rupert, and the ones who know me the most, they were there a long time ago. That should be the theologian was the furthest thing from my mind. I watched their comedy script right. So the interview, I was asked if this was a crowning moment of my life. And I said, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not a crowning moment in my life because if you think about being stuck, if you are crowned, it means that you suddenly become a king or a queen or a morning. Yeah. But you weren't that before. And I said, well, actually, I was that before. And you watched I said, it's not the crowning glory, it's more like the ice of the tear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, So 10 years ago, I was living what? 10 years ago, I couldn't get a job at any cadaver institute. I walked near there, there, I'll be there, bro, I'm 10 bit back. You're in university, I said, Amy. I applied for a job, they get a shot, they said they would give me jobs. <laughs> so 10 years on, here I am. Uh, yeah, yeah, only with all of you. But thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you.